Alright guys, this is a 100% honest review. Um, I have zero experience with poly gel or acrylic, so it'll kind of give you a better perspective on is this product for you, should you buy it, based off you guys seeing me work with it. This is my first time doing any of this, so definitely watch my second video and see how I got better, but I had to throw that disclaimer in there, so without further ado, let's get on into this video. Okay, so this is everything that comes in the box when you first get it. It's a lot. I did practice on my pinky because y'all y'all see how my pinky look it would be this video would have been a waste of time so i did practice on my pinky first the day before so i kind of got the gist of it so it came with all of these poly gels and i forgot one of them and it's basically um like a pink another pink it comes with the top and base coat It comes with the mixer solution liquid stuff. It also has a pretty good, um, I forgot what this is called, <laughs> brush. It came with a pretty good brush in this thing that doesn't, at first I thought that was like the thing to push back your cuticles, but no. <laughs> it's for the now one th complaint I do have y'all could have put some more files in here because I did not know this was not a soak off poly gel so you literally have to file everything so um just keep that in mind it came with the tips not tips but it came with the I don't know what those are called it came with the um I can't talk today y'all. It came with a, a, a nail clipper. Instructions which I'm pretty sure nobody reads. And all these poly gel, I mean all these regular gel um, nail polishes. And of course I forgot one and it's going to be the orange glitter one which is going to be in my next um, video when I redid my nails now y'all this is my first time doing any of this nobody told me how dirty not dirty but like just messy it can be it also came with the UV light so trust me as I get better I'm gonna do better but yeah it came with all of this like $32. All right, let's get into these colors. I really like that purple. That red's really hot too. It's like a neon cherry red. And again, I forgot one color here. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys what the poly gels look like and I'll be back. Yes, please excuse the leftover gel on my nails. I just cannot be bothered when it comes to getting all of it off. It's too hard and my nails are too damn thin. So, I'm sorry if that bothers y'all because I'm pretty sure if you have thin nails you know exactly what it feels like when you go to grab something and your nails be doing the matrix 
I mean, them hoes be bending all the way back. They they be having hang time. They don't even break off. Okay, you you would swear they doing a backflip or something on how far they be bending back and do not be breaking. Like story of my whole life. Alrighty, so these are the colors. You have orangey, nude pink, pink, light pink, clear pink, all that. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use these two colors right here. Because I did do this around Halloween. So as you guys can see, this was my first attempt the day before. And boy. They look better than this though. And then the next set I'm gonna do look better than the ones these. So yeah, this is me pushing the cuticle I really don't see back. Nail prep. And from now on, I'm really not gonna do a lot of nail prep. I I just like skipping straight into it. Did anybody see the new Doja Cat song? Like, I live for it! Alright, so I'm gonna file. Like, my nails are literally so thin. But, they say you need to file, so I'm gonna file and try to make it rough. And then, I'm getting ready to work with my liquid, so I'm gonna put a base coat on first. And then I'm gonna file it, just make some grooves in it, and then put my poly gel on top of that. So that's what I'm gonna do. Y'all, I promise I will get better with these backgrounds. I, I didn't know like it was gonna collect so much dust. Ugh. Right now I'm gonna wipe it off with some alcohol because it's a little sticky. And I'm gonna put some grooves in it that way it can stick. And so now I'm measuring. Last time I think I put it to no 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 no. This is my first time doing it. I'm thinking about my second time doing it. So I someone I remember watching a video and they were like, put it side to side, make sure it, it kind of like overfits, and it just doesn't work for me. So, but yeah, that's what I'm doing, making sure it fits side to side. Now you guys are going to see me make a mistake here. of taking that poly gel that I had put on the paper and I'm just mixing them together because I didn't want to waste any. But this is a big mistake. Like just don't do it. Don't mix the colors like how I did. Cause it, I don't know, it just didn't, it wasn't cooperating. So, I find what works for me is not doing the long swiping motions because then it just makes it like really sticky and hard to work with. It's best to pat and use as less liquid as possible. When it gets sticky, use the liquid, but don't put too much, otherwise it's going to get like too goopy. So that's just what I've noted. I think this thumb right here took me the longest to do. 
and also I have I've been making them way too thick so you'll see the mistake I made with the second um, set that I did I tried to no, I'll, I'll just let y'all see what I did <laughs> mess I swear this took me the absolute longest to do so yeah just don't make the mistake I did and then me putting more on top of more <laughs> uh, you don't ever want it this damn thick I think I'll do better with forms honestly but I need to order some Oh my gosh, and then I put more? All right, let's speed this up. So let's go ahead and pop these off and okay not that bad we definitely have a lot of filing to do but I'm gonna do most of that off camera I mean I'm pretty sure you guys know how to file So I'm sorry y'all but I, I just can't wait 
I couldn't wait to put the gel on. So that's what I did. And that's what I'm going to do. Like, I'm going to paint and do each nail. It's, I, I don't recommend doing it like this because it takes so much longer. But for my first time, I couldn't wait to get that gel on there. I wanted to see it shine and shine and shine and shine. So yeah, I mean, the bottom looks okay compared to what it was looking like, so, alright, moving on. So this is a little bit easier to work with as you can see. Of course I need to clean up. So yeah. I think what I should do is just spread it all the way down like a big square and then just pile my shape. It'll probably be a lot easier. It'll have a lot more strength, but you know, I didn't know that as I was doing this. see just cleaning up on the sides that's important because once it's on there it's on there as far as one when, when you cure it all right so now i'm filing they was wrong for putting two files in here and the other one they ain't a real file they should at least put five files in there one for each finger because you're gonna be filing honey all right let's speed this up I am putting a base coat on and then I'm gonna put the, oh, okay, I already cured it, so now I'm gonna put the nail polish on, same thing. So I've already done the rest of the fingers, except the pinky off camera. Yeah, I know I need to clean it up. I will do that later. This is what the back is looking like. 
So yeah, let's go ahead and work on this pinky. It was a pain in the ass to do all this filing, but here we go. So, I probably should have put another coat on that pinky, but let's move into the jewels now. So these are some, these are some jewels I already had like maybe a two years so for today's design I'm going to use all red and what I've done is take a bobby pin and straighten it out and then put some um, gel on the end on one end and cured it and so I'm just using that as my quicker picker rubber. So what I watched one girl do is she put like the the gel adhesive where she wanted to put the jewels and then she top coated over that and then she put her jewels on and then she cured it. So it all looked like one seamless piece. So that's what I tried to do. And yeah.
know what do you guys think comment below on some tricks and tips I could use for the next set also what color um drill file should I get gold or pink also comment that down below but yeah um I like them they're they're okay for the first time and I hope you guys enjoyed watching stay tuned for more